Hi, this is Ryan Levine with Utah Working Capital. Now I'd like to talk about how to format a balance sheet. A balance sheet is structured uh, by taking a specific date and time, for example, December 31st of a given year, um, is a good explanation of what a company's financial position is on that given date. Uh, from that point, uh, a company will then uh, first calculate all of its assets. It'll begin by calculating all of the, the cash within the bank accounts, counting up all of the inventory as well as receivables that are owed to the company. Um, next, below that, um, a company will then take all of its property, plant, and equipment assets that are going to be on the books for a long time. Um, and, and below the property, plant, and equipment, uh, a company will then list intangible uh, assets such as goodwill um, or trademarks that um, have value um, and finally other assets, anything that does not fit those categories. Below the assets uh, are going to be your liabilities. And liabilities are structured into two groups. First, current liabilities which include uh, all of your short-term liabilities, the, the money that you owe to the bank in the near future, uh, as well as any other recent debts. And the second is long-term debt. This is going to be um, anything that's due one year or greater from now, um, the, anything that you might owe to a, a bank or anybody else that you uh, have a loan with. Um, below the liability section is the final uh, part of the balance sheet, and that is the owner's equity. That's going to show where um, all of the contributed from, funds from shareholders or owners uh, might be residing as well as any dividends that have been paid uh, to the company um, or retained earnings um, that have kept back within the company and uh, reinvested. For further additional questions, contact us at utworkingcapital at gmail.com.